Right, welcome back to another video, and as you can see by the title of this one, we've got another 100 game with 107 kills with the M1 Garand on Marita Conquest. So, uh, another semi-automatic rifle being ticked off the list, and, well, probably one of the worst semi-automatic rifles now, uh, for many different reasons, um, and... Yeah, obviously, you'll know for a f you'll know if you play with the Ammon Garand when the gun first got released. It was pretty good. It had a great bullet velocity, uh, so you know good good, good bullet speed, uh, and it had a great uh, you know damage um, drop off range or damage you know good damage range, uh, being three shots to kill at most ranges. Uh, and then this gun got nerfed uh, in a later patch. Uh, whereby oh, now at pretty much any wonderful. range, uh, you know, medium to long range, where any other sort yeah. semi-auto rifle would get three oh, shots just, to kill, oh, this gun is now four shots to kill. Uh, as well as it has had its bullet velocity lowered, and so it makes it much oh. harder to track moving targets at a long distance, uh, and therefore becomes hard to be more accurate, uh, and, and also therefore lowers the time to kill because the bullets aren't hitting the target as quick. Uh, not only that, obviously you've got an eight-round magazine, uh, which well, you know an eight-round clip, which is therefore useless because what used to be able to get two, three, four kills per mag uh, can now you know you're lucky sometimes to get two kills because it can take four shots to kill at long range, at any other range then it's three, uh, and getting headshots is quite hard. So getting you know uh, two sh two shot kills is also very very hard. Uh, oh so gosh, all around, it's just a pretty bad gun post-patch when it got nerfed for many different reasons. Uh, but again, if you want to see the specializations that I have chosen and used for this gun, check out the playlist on the channel, either on you know in the playlist section or on the homepage. I've taken the time to create multiple videos uh, going through all the best recommended uh, specializations, which I just personally choose, uh, in my opinion, uh, are the best suited for the game, uh, or at least for in, in my case for my playstyle, so check those out. Um, but in terms of the site which we're going to be using in this video, you can see I'm using the iron site, which you might think, you know, what the hell, it's not the cleanest site. I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not terrible, but you're probably thinking, why aren't you using the reflex site uh, or even the three times scope? Uh, well, I haven't gone for using a three times scope because the post on the site is a bit too thick, which makes it hard to hit uh, and be accurate at targets at long range as well as the three times scope ha having the most visible uh, vertical recoil. So even, at, if, even if you want three times scope to be able to see targets at longer range uh, much more clearly, you won't be able to hit them as accurate as you can with the iron sight or the reflex sight. And then I haven't gone for the reflex sight because the tint uh, is a bit, you know, the tint covers enemies. It's not very visible at those longer ranges. Um, along with obviously the reticle on the site being a, you know being a bit of a hindrance to, to what you're seeing and shooting at uh, at long range, uh, you know, and therefore I've, that's why I've not gone for the reflex sight. Um, I do like the nostalgia of just you, of this you know the classical iron sight on this gun, so you know that's why I've liked using it and getting used to using this. Um, and the recoil, you know, the vertical recoil um, is pretty easy to, to see and easy to you know to handle and to control and to use with this iron sight. Uh, and at, once you get used to it, it's not it's really not that much of a, uh, of a hindrance to use um, And especially at those longer ranges you can see it's got that pinpoint uh, I don't know what you call it the post front post. It's just it's just pinpoint. So it's very very accurate You can literally pick off someone's fingernail if you want you know at long range So uh, that's why I've gone with the iron sight and got used to using the iron sight as well as nostalgic reasons but you probably hear in the background of this because uh, my mic was on because I was in a party, um, complaining absolutely loads because I was just missing so many shots with this gun. Like I said, you've only got an eight round clip. Um, sometimes it's four bullets to kill, even when it's three bullets to kill. If you miss one or two bullets, you know y you're screwed. You have to reload, um, and you can only get one kill out of the gun, uh, which is why you'll also see I'm not. I can't. I don't know officially if the gun has a quicker reload when you dump the magazine, uh, like I do with my secondary, the Repetier pistol. But you'll see when I get down to two or three rounds left after getting a kill, I'll just dump the magazine sometimes rather than uh, going for the normal reload with the bullets that are remaining in the clip because I don't know why I feel like it's quicker uh, when you dump the magazine. But of course then uh, ammo becomes an issue because there isn't that many bullets 
uh, that you have got, so you have to use the, you know, you have to go and resupply quite a lot. Uh, but for the sake of reloading quicker uh, and st therefore more potentially staying alive, uh, I do dump the magazine sometimes, you'll see. As well as sometimes I'll just reload the gun anyway if I know it's safe. Um, but yeah, so that's, I just had a nightmare with this gun in this game, missing so many bullets, so many shots. Um, cause you, and you get frustrated, because uh, obviously you know once you miss one or two shots, you're pretty much you're limited to only getting one kill with a magazine. Um, and there's so much time you spend reloading with the gun. Uh, that you know, for you to be able to get shot and killed while uh, reloading, so uh, you have got to make sure you vital, you know, you utilize uh, your secondary pistol, you know, secondary, so your your pistol as much as possible uh, because you've only got eight bullets in this clip, uh, and obviously then your secondary is probably going to have a maximum of eight bullets as well. So uh, you've got to be very good with your um, management of ammo uh, and how much ammo you've got in the gun. And so the overall. Uh, overview you know conclusion of this gun is that it, it's not it's, you know there is no defined proper play style to use for it because the because when it got nerfed and it became four maybe even five bullets at longer ranges to kill it's basically pointless using over any other semi-automatic at long range medium range is the best range to use it at i i would say but even then it's still not good i mean eight eight rounds in the clip three bullets to kill it's quite hard to go for headshots and be accurate because of you know because the the Every single sight option yeah. isn't that isn't that good, um, so medium range again yeah, not that very a good choice over any other semi-automatic yeah. rifle, and then it is good at close range because you can you've got quite a high fire rate for it, so it is good to go to go up close and just absolutely blitz someone with a magazine. But you've only got eight rounds, so you, you're up close. If you want to play it up close and get personal, you're always reloading all the time, which is not what you want to be doing because uh, you're going to get caught out up, up close and you're going to die while reloading. So it's not very good at any range. Every semi-automatic in a gun is pretty much better than it in almost, you know, any situation or any playstyle that you're going to want to play. There's a better option and to go for. So I wouldn't recommend using this gun. Uh, but nonetheless, we've done it to take it off the list. But what might be more beneficial to hear and to know is obviously how I'm playing on Marita. Uh, you will have seen one or two games before on the channel where I've talked through how to play on Marita. Um, when you're on the other side of the spawn so this side of the spawn now i'm on the german side i think um, and then on the british side which is what i've shown previously with the zh video and the rsc video um, you obviously get to sit behind that rock there in front of me across the other side of the bridge and that's your power position being able to see obviously up to f flag e flag d flag all you know all, basically you can just see all the flags from that point um, and you can hold the bridge here um, as well as the, the the cliff overlooking D flag and the mid passageway there in front of me, um, you can hold that as your power position and just you know main choke point, hold all the enemies off, and pick off as many kills as you can, uh, being defensive. Uh, in this case, obviously we have to attack the bridge and it's quite hard to pick off loads of kills because you know you, you haven't got the high ground um, and all the enemies are holding the other side of the bridge. Luckily for me, in this game, um, you know we were pushing the enemies back. Uh, and obviously you can see the flags are all over the place and so we were just able to push up around the map or pretty much go wherever we wanted to go there was no choke point and so it was easy for me, easy for me to hunt around the map and go for for kills uh, but again therefore i'm still sticking around c flag the bridge uh, and the other side of the bridge in between here and e flag as my main power position because it is the point which can obviously see all the flags around the map Using this as the main point, if I know enemies are capturing any flag around this power position, I have the shortest amount of running distance and time to get to a flag if I need to get to a flag, um, and therefore I can spend more time obviously going for kills and getting kills. Uh, and also if you know my number one rule of obviously being, you need that skill gap of being good at long range because Battlefield has big maps and that's how you can maximise your most uh, potential kills. Well, obviously this power position is the shortest distance to all flags map. equally, but it's also, um, you can also see every single flag and get long range kills without having to move uh, from this position. So um, that is why you pretty much want to patrol around this part of the map and that's how you're going to find the most amount of enemies or be able to see the most amount of potential enemies to therefore maximise your potential amount of kills. So obviously as you can see in this game now, they are holding, oh, it's, it's pretty equal, we're holding three flags each. Um, we're pushing towards the E flag, uh, take a death here, but again, still spawning down and pushing towards uh, their E flag. Always, pretty much, when you push to E flag, the house, which looks over towards C, so the house, which is right in uh, front of me there, 
uh, is what you want to try push towards and get in. Uh, so you make sure you've always got cover and it allows you to use that as a power position to kill any enemies that are obviously going to be on C. You can kill any men, enemy enemies coming from F, coming down that hill or sitting on the houses or coming from the hill. You can look down on any enemies that are in E flag as well as looking onto any enemies that are on D flag. But yeah, it's pretty easy therefore oh, to rotate on this map markers, yeah. on Marita. Um, you can just see me for the next minute or two. I'm literally just going to try pick off as many enemies from this position as possible while moving around the house and checking the other flags as they're being, you know, captured or um, by our team or the enemy team and just assessing, um, you know, where the enemies are going to next spawn and then therefore I will move obviously from this power position then towards that flag or even back up to the main power position uh, by the bridge to then obviously engage any enemies who are going to be capturing C uh, or D flag. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this game pretty much. I'll let you watch the final few minutes. Um, make sure you drop a like, leave a comment about anything, literally anything, whether it's this game, uh, something else in Battlefield I'm 5 entirely. I like replying to I love replying to comments, so you know, just be sure to drop me one, even if it's just an, some random emoji. Just go for it, um, and obviously subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Another one. Um, any meds? Wait, have I got the hundred yet? I don't even know. I haven't looked. Oh fuck it, real quick. Oh, but in Lager, give me the lead, please. Yeah. Come on, stick it out, stick out. Let me see. Funktioniert's wieder nicht. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna absolutely mess this now. Uh, One more. Uh, one kill. No. I got two bullets left. Yes, let's go. Hmm? Yeah. I wanted to make a new one, but it's not going to happen. But to me and Miss will come to me. Außer der Benji, ja, du bist schon Hast du ja Video done? Let's go. Was hast du nur mit Jockern gespielt, oder was? Also ein... Das ist... Ja, deswegen bin ich so früh gegangen. Es war komplett scheiße. Ich bin in der Früh, ich war auch ständig negativ. Bin ich auch wieder gegangen.